All right, I got this YZ250 motor on the bench. I'm just basically doing a top end winter refresh. I'm gonna inspect this cylinder and I'll show you what to look for. First off, there's no catastrophic failure. I can look at this piston. I can see there is some wear on the intake, a little bit on the exhaust, nothing crazy. Over here, you can see that some of that carbon has blown past the ring. So there is a little bit of blow by. It means that the rings are somewhat worn. Typical top end. Now I have honed this cylinder to restore some of that cross hatch. And you can see right at the top here where the ring travel ends, there's a dark spot, two dark spots actually. Those dark spots are why I really like to hone the cylinder. And it's also why I don't like to use a ball hone. This tells me a lot about the wear that's in the cylinder. Those dark spots are where the Nicosil has a little bit more wear and the hone stones haven't touched there. I can't feel any ridges or anything. It's very, very slight wear. Once you can feel that ridge with your thumb, you're starting to get some significant wear. You can also see that there's some dark spots above the exhaust port here, like an eyebrow. So in here, you can also see the bottom of the ring travel just below the exhaust port there. Nothing significant. I'm looking for vertical lines as well. There's nothing significant. On a lot of cylinders, especially higher hour ones, you will see vertical lines. Usually, if you can see the lines but not feel them, you're okay. Next, what I'm going to do is check piston clearance and ring end gap on both the old piston and the new one to see how much wear is on the piston and on the cylinder. If you want to see more details on that, I have a YouTube video on my channel.